Hello, and how's it going? My name is Edward. I'm actually behind the scenes right now, and I'm in. I'm with. What's your name? Our name's Chris, and for those watching this channel, you'll know who I am. I'm the Blackpool Daddy, or Chris Higgins, Daddy Virgin here. There you go. And where are we located at right now? We're Chris? located outside the Wolves Unit here in Huntsville, Texas, and it's about seven o'clock at night. And it's it's still quite nice and warm here, isn't it? Oh, it's so warm here. You for look you, good. For you guys back in England, it's absolutely freezing out there. Look at him. Still got my t-shirt on. Chris, why are you here tonight, sir? I'm here because it's a very interesting and emotive subject. I'm not for or against the death penalty, but I'm really interested in the concept and your law enforcement concept. Because every time something like this happens in England, people keep saying. Pull it to death, pull it to death, pull it to death. So it's always good to actually have both sides of the argument. So I've actually come here and I happen to be on the side, on the area where the anti-death penalty people are. So I just thought I'd come up and have a look at what goes on because it's a very strange concept. And just because we're here in Texas and we're here in Huntsville and tonight is a scheduled execution, does it change your views or uh, mind about Texas as a whole or anything in general? What I've noticed is everybody I've come to speak to so far and interview are so friendly and so nice. People have got this concept in England that you all wear guns and you're going to shoot them and you're all gangsters in the hood and all that lot. And it's not like that at all, guys. Yeah, People are so friendly. But they're so friendly in America in general. I personally never had a problem out here. And I've done, oh, what have I done now? 24 states so far. And I've never had a problem out here. I love America. And if we execute Robert Prata tonight, if the state of Texas does go with the death sentence and executes Robert Prata, does it make the world, the Texas, the, like, what, what is the benefit out of all this? See, that's an interesting question because there's two sides of the conversation here. <clears throat> I know 50% of Americans believe that the death penalty is a deterrent. So half of Americans basically believe death penalty is a deterrent and the other half don't. Now, the other half who don't believe it believe that if somebody's going to kill you, somebody and create a heinous crime, they're going to do it regardless of the consequences. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say whether I'm for it or against it because that would be being biased then. So I'm trying to be unbiased about it here, but I can see both sides of the coin. It sounds like you're having a good time here in Texas. You're enjoying the travels and stuff like that. And tomorrow you're headed to San Antonio, correct? I certainly am, yeah. Your hometown? Yes, I am, actually. And we hope to see you all soon. And you're going to visit the Alamo and the Riverwalk, I hope? We are, yes. And then from there, we're back. We're going up to Louisiana after that. So mark your calendars because you're going to be doing some traveling, huh? Oh, well, there's going to be a lot of videos out there. So don't forget, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd like a big thank you to Edward for interviewing me. It's difficult. It's sometimes strange being interviewed on the other side <laughs> of the camera, yeah, when I'm interviewing people. But you've been a great interviewer. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon.